One of our most popular videos is the video about the Titanoboa, the biggest snake in history. But in this video, we want to have some fun and we want to see if the Titanoboa didn't go extinct, what would happen? Right now, the biggest snake that lives among us is the anaconda. And the biggest crocodiles that live on Earth are the saltwater crocodiles. And sometimes they weigh as much as one ton. But the anaconda and the saltwater crocodile is nothing compared to the titanoboa. Millions of years ago, there was a type of crocodile that lived on Earth called the Chronosaurus. And just like the Titanoboa, we want to bring this creature back to life in the current era. Before we enter the time machine and bring these two ancient animals back to life, let's get to know them a little bit better. Titanoboa the biggest snake in world history lived around 60 million years ago. And in that era, it was the biggest predator in the world. This snake could have been as long as 13 meters and weigh as much as one ton. The anaconda is not a short snake. It's about half the size of a titanoboa, around six meters. But in terms of the thickness of the snake, it's extremely small because the titanoboa could be one meters wide. In the era that the titanoboa lived, there were no hippos. Hippos are extremely powerful wild animals, but the titanoboa could basically devour a hippo in one bite. In most cases, the titanoboa lived in swamps and it would mostly feed on different types of fish. In that era, there were crocodiles and swamps as well. We really don't know if the titanoboa ate crocodiles, but one thing that is certain is that the titanoboa could easily attack a crocodile. Titanoboa also crushes the prey, just like the anaconda. It wraps around it, crushes the bones, and after it eats it with one bite. The amount of pressure that Titanoboa could put on its prey was 20 kilograms per centimeter squared. And you could compare that to a machine press. But let's get to know the other animal, the Chronosaurus we're gonna bring along. Chronosaurus is known as one of the biggest lizards in history. It was smaller than the titanoboa, but much more vicious. Its jaw could open very wide, and each tooth was like a dagger, and it would slice anything. And since it had an extremely powerful jaw, nothing was stopping it, and no prey was getting out of it. You could compare the size of the Chronosaurus to a modern day orca, but much more powerful and much more nimble. When it was swimming in the waters, it would pretty much attack anything it was confronted with, even much bigger than itself. It had a length of 13 meters, and it weighed as much as 12 tons. And when you look at the way it looks, it kind of resembles a crocodile, but a giant crocodile. Since we got to know these two, Let's go back inside the time machine and go forward to 2023. But the difference is that these two animals are still with us. Scientists say if the Titanoboa was with us today, they will live in a rainforest, especially the Amazon, the Congo, or the Indonesian. Nowadays, there is a lot of towns and villages next to these rainforests. And when the Titanoboa gets bored, they could enter anyone's household if they feel like it. You might say the houses have windows and doors and the snake cannot enter, but that's wrong. It has so much power and weight behind it that whenever it pushes against anything, it would basically destroy it, let alone a door. If the Titanoboa can't fight food, 
It might go to the nearing cities, but it really can't reach big cities far away because it's not used to that dry climate unless it enters the sewer system and enters the city with that method. But unfortunately, in these sewer pipes, the Titanoboa will most likely go hungry because the only food they can find is rats. But the Titanoboa needs a lot more than a couple mice unless there's thousands of them in front of them. Either way, it's going to be very hungry when it reaches the city. Do you think it's going to be easy for it to hunt anything it pleases? Unfortunately, no. When humans realize that such snake exists and it's amongst them, they'll plan to capture it maybe with electricity and put it to sleep. And then they would put it inside a cave. This is when the Titanoboa pleases for it to go back to its original habitat. And the humans say, no, we sold tickets and you have to put on a show for these people. And that's when the Titanoboa wishes it had gone extinct. But let's get back before the sewer talk because the Titanoboa is now a zoo animal, not a wild animal. And the humans just want to make money off of it. The Titanoboa gets back to the rainforest it loves, where there's plenty of food. If it actually does come back, it would be the king of rainforests all over the world. And no other animal or predator will be able to beat it. Even the saltwater crocodile, that's one of the most dangerous animals on earth. If the Titanoboa is not captured by humans, it could live a long happy life in these swamps. But let's talk about the Kronosaurus and see how it's living its life. Historians believe that the Kronosaur would eat turtles, but giant ones. And the reason is that it had a very powerful jaw with extremely sharp teeth and it could easily cut into the shell and destroy the animal. And you could say it's one of the only predators that could successfully eat turtles. What is it gonna eat now? It could find turtles now but it's not gonna satisfy it. That is why it will most likely attack the biggest animal in the world's history, the blue whale. If you didn't already know, the blue whale is the biggest animal in Earth's history and nothing bigger has came along. But even though it's this big, it's not really a predator and it doesn't protect itself against prey. Neither can it run away from other animals. And that is why the Kronosaurus could easily take chunks out of the blue whale and basically kill it. Scientists believe if the Kronosaurus enters our waters now, they will most likely make the blue whale go extinct. Right now, the blue whale doesn't really have any enemies in the water unless humans kill it or they commit suicide. Do you think the Kronosaurus is gonna have an easy time and basically make the blue whale go extinct? Yes, it can be possible, but the human is still around. People sell rhino horn for about $65,000 per kilogram. And this is in a way where the Kronosaurus has teeth that's kind of similar to the rhino's horn. And you could say these teeth will be very pricely in the market. And that is why the humans will most likely hunt these guys down to extinction just to take their teeth and sell them. So is it possible to actually bring back an extinct animal from the past? In some situations, it's very possible. Like right now, scientists are looking for a method to bring back woolly mammoth. Scientists say that we can get the DNA of a mammoth from the fossil. And when you mate this DNA with a female Indian elephant, you will get another woolly mammoth. So some might say, can we bring dinosaurs back? No, right now we can't do that because the mammoth has gone extinct fairly recent, only about 10,000 years ago. But dinosaurs have gone extinct 65 million years ago. And with today's technology, they really can't resurrect the DNA. 